Ladies and gentlemen, Mashed Potato Brains Joe is presiding over an economic collapse of his own making. When he came into office, we did not have 8 to 9% inflation. This is a fact. We did not have the geopolitical nightmare in Europe that he's done really nothing other than try to defeat the enemy of the Democratic Party, not necessarily the enemy of the United States of America. Like President Obama stated, um, the 80s want your foreign policy back, Mitt Romney and Joe and every Democrat out there. But what he's done within two years, crime has increased. You can say, well, that's not his fault. He doesn't control uh, what takes place in cities. Oil prices have doubled. Well, that's he doesn't control uh, commodity prices. Gas prices, diesel prices have doubled. Oil around the world is, Brent crude is 120 plus per barrel. Uh, you can go to oilprices.com. Oil prices right now, 116 per barrel, 118 per barrel. WTI crude, 116. Brent crude, 118. But it, it, it continually fluctuates between like 115 to 123. We have a recession going into a recession, possibly a depression. And I explained that in the Stock Market Crash channel, so hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. We have 8 to 9% inflation when his administration said the inflation was only temporary. It wasn't really an issue that's a long-term um, catastrophe. It was only temporary, they said. Okay, eight to nine percent inflation. And immediately after he took office, 14 states, 14 states sued mashed potato brains and his administration. 14 states, states sue Biden administration over oil and gas, um, over oil and gas leasing moratorium. Okay, 14 states include this is this is CNBC. March 24th, 14 states, including Louisiana and Wyoming, uh, filed suit on Wednesday against pr the president's moratorium on new oil and gas, new oil and natural gas leases on public lands and waters. Biden's order on January 27th to, pa to pause new leasing was part of a series of executive actions to address climate change and curb planet warming carbon emissions. Okay, so then you have one of these executive orders. Fact sheet, President signs executive order catalyzing America's clean energy economy through federal su uh, sustainability. This is December of 2021, right before our greatest enemy um, invades a country under Biden's watch, but also turns oil and gas into the most important geopolitical uh, topics on the planet. So right before oil and gas... And fossil fuels became the most geo the most important geopolitical issues. Biden says, oh, we're going to save the planet. 100% carbon pollution, free electricity by 2030. 100% zero emission uh, vehicle acquisitions by 2035, including 100% zero emission light duty vehicle acquisitions by 2027. Net zero emissions from federal procurement no later than 2015 including a buy clean uh, policy to promote use of construction materials with lower embodied emissions, a net zero emission building portfolio by 2045, net zero emission for, from over overall federal operations by 2050. Okay, so now you have Chevron, uh, Bloom, Bloomberg, U.S. may never build new refinery even with surging gas prices, Sh uh, Chevron CEO says. Green policy push means billion dollar investments may be stranded in coming decades. We, are, we could very well be heading into a recession because of the apoplectic and hysterical quest to save the planet, which is an important issue, but only if you have the technology to do so. If you cannot move from fossil fuels immediately to uh, clean energy that, it, that, that does not have the capacity or the ability right now, we don't have the technology since... 80 to 90 percent of the economy, probably more than that, but 80 to 90 percent of the economy runs on fossil fuels. Electric power plants run on fossil fuels, 80 to eight, about 60 percent, and then 20 percent nuclear energy. But those aren't being, nuclear power plants aren't being built, refineries aren't being built, 
because it takes five years, six years, seven years to build these things. They're huge investments. And we're going to get to Biden's impeachment. Biden is going to get impeached, not only for Hunter's emails that showed that they sold access to the United States government for business deals, which is exactly what the foundation, Bill and Hillary, did. They got money into the foundation and beneficial treatment took place. 20% of U.S. uranium capacity at one point was sold to you-know-who. Please respond to that wonderful liberal Democrat journalist, uh, lifelong um, highly educated adult in the room journalist who thinks Trump is a menace to society and was installed by the Kremlin. Why was 20% of U.S. uranium capacity? Uh, why, did, why didn't that sale get um, vetoed by President Obama? But you have a complete destruction of the American economy under mashed potato brains Joe. Like complete destruction. We're, it's not getting better. There's a 75 point basis hike. Okay. The market goes up because they've been expecting a 75 basis point and then it's been tanking. Market went up today just um, just because that's what the market does. It goes, it, it tanks. I predicted that it would tank and it's going to tank a lot further. Go to the description section of this segment and every segment that I do. I, I accurately predicted the stock market crash. In September of 2021, watch the playlist on this channel and on, eight, on on the Stock Market Crash channel. And in October of 2021, I predicted uh, we're going to, we're heading into a stock market crash because of the policies of the Democratic Party in um, the Federalist. That article is below. Hunter's emails are just one issue. He does he's not getting tens of millions of dollars, in some cases hundreds of millions of dollars in deals from other countries because he's a great businessman. They are giving him money, just like they gave the foundation of Bill and Hillary money for preferential or beneficial treatment. When Democrats say you can't prove anything, there's a money flow and emails saying how can you use your influence on behalf of the company and the Washington Examiner found a recording of Hunter the other day saying, oh, uh, my father does, his father does anything that he asks in ter- uh, talks about any issue or focuses on any issue that he, that's important to him. Well, you could put two and two together. It's not difficult, okay? And then there's the, then there's the topic of um, 10% for the big man within those emails. He gives 10% of his income or revenue from consulting using the family name and possible access to the United States government. Again, there's suspicion there. Is there direct evidence? No. There's more evidence in emails and money flow and 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 multinational um, hundred deals worth hundreds of millions of dollars than there ever was with a steel dossier that was literally purchased by Clinton. By the way, I want a Hillary Trump or Hillary DeSantis 2024. Hillary Clinton Trump Hillary Clinton and DeSantis 2024. I want a redo of 2016. We have to. They cheated Bernie Sanders in, in the primary. And then you couldn't even get the liberal journalist on uh, with Bill Maher. He didn't even acknowledge. The liberal journalist didn't even acknowledge that Bernie Sanders was cheated. Well, why do you think the, that Russia hacked the DNC emails? Oh, that's right. To inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated, thus, thus helping Trump. Because anything that exposes Democratic Party corruption, you know, helps Trump. And that's a foreign plot. But the DNC never gave its servers to the United States government, so that's another issue. That's another issue. Why why the DNC never gave its servers to the United States government is just one of many reasons never to trust Democrats. You don't have to trust Republicans, but definitely not Democrats. But you have Biden coming in saying we're going to save the planet with his uh, policies that uh, are just championed by by, Democrats. Climate change uh, advocates or uh, advocates who want to battle and combat climate change. And now we have oil prices doubled and diesel prices doubling. And that's going to um, transportation in this country. Commerce runs from diesel. Okay. Trucks in every industry. Diesel and diesel fuel goes up. Everyone will feel it and inflation will not go down. It will only go up no matter how much. They raise interest rates. They're going to impeach Biden, certainly, it, n- not just with Hunter. Depending on how bad the economy goes, they'll impeach him because of the economy. Remember, it's not, 
You don't have to prove anything in a court of law. This is a political statement. So they will impeach Biden on the economy. Because if we enter into a recession and flirt with a depression, it will be Biden's fault and the fault of Democrats. And I wrote about this in, uh, in, Oct- in October of 2021 in The Federalist. Read that article. It's in the description section. It will be almost entirely their fault. And they'll have nobody to blame but themselves. It's important and noble to focus on saving the planet. Yes, I agree with that. But it's, it's immoral and the height of stupidity to do so after you push to end economic activity, pump $10 trillion into the economy, completely obliterate supply and demand projections, and then you say, well, uh, today Biden says, oh, there's an exec- we're going to use uh, executive um, powers to, 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 to ensure that oil companies produce more. You made it more difficult for them, buddy. You made it more difficult for them, Scranton Joe. Mr. Salt of the Earth knows what everyone's, you know, hardworking people are thinking as your, as your son and your, your brother make you, what, millions upon millions? It's in those emails. How did, he, how did Joe get $10 million when he had only like 100, 200,000? They say from his speeches and his writing. Have you seen him speak lately? I don't think from his speeches. You need like one of those bouncing balls, like, you know, with subtitles every time he speaks. But this is hilarious. It's like they're, they're literally so incompetent, it's like impossible to even describe. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel. Go to the Stock Market Crash channel below and the Bitcoin Crash channel right now. That's in this, the description section. And read my article in The Federalist. Ladies and gentlemen, I accurately predicted everything. Everything you see now, I've been talking about it on this channel for a long time. So tell your friends about this channel.